And as they did sit and did eat, Jesus said, Truly, I say unto you, one of you which eats with me shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful and to say unto him, one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve that dips with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good work be for that man if he had never been born. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them. And they all drank of it, and he said unto them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. Truly, I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until the day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said unto them, all of you shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. But after that I am risen, I will go before you into Galilee. But Peter said unto him, Although all should be offended, yet I will not. And Jesus said unto him, Truly I say unto you, that this day, even in this night, before the rooster crows twice, you shall deny me three times. But he spoke to more vehemently, if I should die with you, I will not deny you in any way. Likewise, they all said. And they came to the place which was named Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, you sit here while I shall pray. And he took with him Peter, and James and John and began to be sore amazed and to be very heavy. And he said unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. You wait here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible that the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. And he came and found them sleeping and said unto Peter, Simon, you sleep? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed and spoke with the same word. And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy, and neither did they know what to answer. And he came to them the third time and said to them, Sleep on now and take your rest. It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise up, let us go. Look, he that betrays me is at hand. And immediately, while he had spoke, came Judas, one of the twelve, and with him great crowds with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given them a sign, saying, Whosoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Take him and lead him away securely. And as soon as he was come, he went straight away to him and said, Master, Master, and kissed him. And they laid their hands on him and took him. And one of them that stood by drew a sword and struck a servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said to them, Have you come out as against a thief? with swords and clubs to take me. 
I was daily with you in the temple, teaching, and you took me not. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. And they all forsook him and fled. And there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body. And the young man laid hold on him, and he left the linen cloth and fled from him naked. And they led Jesus away to the high priest. And with him were assembled all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes. And Peter followed him afar off, even into the palace of the high priest. And he sat with the servants and warmed himself at the fire. And the chief priests and all the council sought for testimony against Jesus to put him to death. But they found none, for many bear false witness against him. But their testimony did not agree together. And there arose certain that bore false witness against him. We heard him say, I will destroy the temple that is made with hands. And within three days, I will build another made without hands. But neither did their testimony agree together. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, saying, Do you answer nothing? What it is he testify against you? But he held his peace and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said unto him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am, and you shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, what further need do we have of witnesses? You've heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. And some began to spit on him, and to cover his face, and to buffet him, and to say unto him, prophesy. And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. And as Peter was beneath in the palace, there came one of the little girls of the high priest. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked upon him and said, And you also were with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand what you say. And he went out on the porch, and the rooster crowed. And the little girl saw him again and began to say to them that stood by, This is one of them. But he denied it again. And a little after, those that stood by again said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean, and your speech betrays you. And he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom you speak. And the second time, the rooster crowed, and Peter called to mind the word that Jesus had spoken to him. Before the rooster crowed, you shall deny me three times. And he thought on this, and he wept. All right. And right away in the morning, the chief priest held a council with the elders and the scribes and the whole council and found Daddy, him and, down. and carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And he answered, said unto him, Thou sayest. And the chief priest accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him, saying, Do you answer nothing? Look on how many things they testify against you. But Jesus yet answered nothing. So that Pilate marveled. Now at the feast he released unto them one person, whomsoever they desired. And there was one named Barabbas, which lay found with them, who had made riot with them, who had committed murder in the riot. And the multitude, crying aloud, began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Will ye that I release unto you the king of the Jews? For he knew that the chief priest had delivered him because of them. But the chief priest moved the people that he should rather release for rabbits unto them. And Pilate answered and said unto them, What will ye 
that I shall do unto him whom you call the king of the Jews. And they cried out again, crucify him. And Pilate said unto them, why? What evil has he done? And they cried the more, exceedingly crucify him. And so Pilate, wanting to content the people, released Barabbas onto them and delivered Jesus when he had beaten him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away into the hall called the Praetorium. And they called together the whole band. And they clothed him with purple and twisted a crown of thorns and put it upon his head and began to salute him. Hail! king of the Jews and they struck him on the head with a reed and did spit upon him and bowing the knee worshipped him and when they had mocked him they took off the purple robe from him and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him and they compelled one Simon a Cyrenian to pass by coming out of that country the father of Alexander and Rufus to carry his cross. And they brought him onto the place Golgotha, which is being interpreted the place of a skull. And they gave him to drink wine mixed with myrrh, but he received it not. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothing, casting lots upon him, which every man did take. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. And the superscription of his accusation was written over, the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two thieves, the one on the right hand and the other on the left. And the scripture was fulfilled with says, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And those that passed by railed on him, wagging their heads, saying, Ah, you that destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priests, mocked, said among themselves with the scribes, He saved others, himself he cannot save. Let Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. And those that were crucified with him mocked him. And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land onto the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, Lama, Sabatani, which is being interpreted, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of them that stood by when they heard it said, Behold, he calls for Elijah. And one ran and filled a sponge full of vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink, saying, Leave alone. Let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the spirit. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom. And when the guards which stood over against us saw that he so cried out and gave up the spirit, he said, truly, this man was the son of God. There was also women looking upon him, among whom was Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of James, the less of Joseph, and Salome, who also, when he was in Galilee, followed him, and ministered unto him, and many other women which came to him from Jerusalem. And now, when the evening was come, because it was the preparation, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable council, which also waited for the kingdom of God came, and went in boldly on the pit pilot and praised the body of Jesus. And Pilate
Pilate was amazed that he was dead already. And calling unto him the guard, he asked whether he had been dead a long time. And when he knew it of the guard, he gave the body to Joseph. And he bought fine linen and took him down and wrapped him in the linen and laid him in the tomb, which was cut out of the rock, and rolled a stone over the door of the tomb. And Mary Magdalene, the Mary, the mother of Joseph, beheld where he was laid. And when the Sabbath was past, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early, in the first day of the week, they came to the tomb at the rising of the sun. And they all said among themselves, who shall roll away the stone from the door of the tomb? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very heavy. And entering into the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment. And they were terrified. And he said unto them, Do not be afraid. You search for Jesus of Nazareth which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Look on the place where they laid him. But go your way and tell his disciples and Peter that he goes before you into Galilee, and there you shall see him as he said unto you. And they went out quickly and ran from the tomb, and they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. And they went out quickly and ran from the tomb. When Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And he went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, did not believe. After that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it to the rest, and neither did they believe them. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at dinner and upbraided them for the unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he had risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel unto every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned. named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus at night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know you're a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles you do, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus answered and said, How can a man be born when he's old? Must he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say unto you, Except a man is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I said unto you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from or where it goes. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. Nicodemus answered and said, how? 
can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Are you the teacher of Israel, and you don't know these things? Truly, truly, I say unto you, we speak what we do know, and testify to what we have seen, and you receive not our witness. If I've told you of earthly things, and you do not believe, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already because he's not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he that does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds might be manifest, that they have been wrought in God. And Jesus said unto them, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man, and the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him to them, he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh and lived among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. 